so the problems associated uh, can be classified based on the classification regression or the clustering okay so the table uh, which is there on your screen it shows the difference between the categories uh, of the problems like the regression classification and the clustering so regression uh, in that case the supervised learning algorithm can be used in classification also the supervised learning algorithm can be used but in case of the clustering clustering uh, if there is an unsupervised learning then clustering need to be used okay so output is a continuous quantity in regression in case of regression uh, it is a categorical quantity in case of the classification and in case of the clustering uh, it assigns the data point into the cluster because different clusters uh, are being made and to those cluster the data points need to be assigned in case of the regression the main aim of the algorithm is to forecast or to predict something or to provide uh, or to provide the decision futuristic decision in case of the classification the aim is to compute the category of the data because uh, it will be classified into different clusters okay so that categorization of the data uh, is the main aim of the classification algorithm and in case of the clustering it groups the similar items and those similar uh, items when they are grouped we call them as the clusters so like uh, you you might have uh, heard about like uh, there will be the clustering of the subjects or there will be the clustering of the universities uh, uh, in that case uh, they are grouping something uh, those uh, who are similar because in case of the clustering if they are trying to make a cluster of the universities so they cannot go ahead with uh, the technical universities and non technical universities uh, grouping them so the cluster in that case what they are doing they are doing identifying the same uh, uh, same level institute uh, and they are in the similar region means aisa nahi ki ek ek jagah hai aur dusra kisi dusre state mein hai so unka clustering nahi kiya jayega those who are there in one particular region and they are similar so the clustering uh, they are uh, looking so the same uh, can be thought in case of these the uh, these learning algorithms issues so uh, in case of the regression uh, example uh, if uh, it is trying to predict the uh, price of any stock so uh, the regression uh, will helpful it can be linear can be uh, multiple or can be uh, logical Uh, then in case of the classification uh, like classifying uh, like the uh, if you are providing the emails and trying to identify what are the spam emails and what is the non spam email so for that it will require a few features to extract and by extracting that features can be possible to classify them so uh, like uh, in case of the um, emails if we want to uh, classify them in spam and non spam so you must have seen both the kind of emails so you uh, just by merely looking at that you can identify like uh, mostly it will not have the subject or mostly it will have the grammatical errors or mostly uh, it will ask for something free something uh, the advertising kind of thing will be there so uh, can easily be identified as the spam so in that case the classification algorithms uh, will help then uh, in case of the clustering uh, if we need to find the, all the transaction which are fraud uh, so in that case the clustering is required because uh, some specific identification will be required because in both the case of the transaction uh, the money will be debited but which transaction is proper and which transaction is non proper so in that case the clustering will help you so in case of the regression algorithm uh, like linear regression algorithms uh, can be used in case of the classification different classification algorithms are also there but logistic regression may also help in case of the clustering issues the k means clustering like algorithms will help 
so for each category of the task uh, we can use specific algorithm uh, so we'll see like uh, the category of the algorithms which can be used as a solution to the different complex problems okay so what are the different uh, machine learning algorithms uh, there are different machine learning algorithms which can be used to solve the different category of the problem so out of that uh, the classification regression and the clustering problem we are looking after so in case of the classification algorithms so as per the name uh, we have seen so its name suggests as the act of dividing the dependent variable okay De uh, di dividing the dependent variable and the one we uh, try to predict into the classes and then predict the class to a given input what need to do first uh, we have to divide the dependent variable uh, into the classes and uh, after dividing it predict the class for